G'day Reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to this special edition episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we have a world first reef release. Inside this box, we have a brand new product that's never been seen before. We're going to open it up, show you how it works, talk about its specs, but without further ado, here it is. Here we go. We have an AI Nero 7. So anyone who's familiar with the Nero range will know that there's already a three and a five. So the Nero 7 is the big boy of the range. We're going to open it up, have a look, compare it to the other models and just talk about the specs of the AI Nero 7. So, as you can see, we have our power supply, not much to that. We have our wave maker, which has got an internal magnet and an external that sits outside the tank. Now, we'll have a look at what thickness glass that this wave maker can actually be used on, but it is a typical Nero, apart from its size. You can see you've got uh, your little controller here. Uh, to open it up, very easy. And one of the things we've liked about the other Neros in the range are the fact that they are so easy to maintain. Uh, I normally use a toothbrush to clean off the inside and um, they're very simple, excellent wave makers. So we'll have a look at the other Neros and how they compare with this one. And then we'll talk about the specs of the new Nero 7. So here we have the range of Neros. We have the Nero 3, the Nero 5, and now the brand new Nero 7. So you can see the size difference. Really, the only difference in the design that I can see uh, immediately is the fact that there is further ventilation on the Nero 7. Now, it, there is, of course, a larger flow rate with the Nero 7. So I'm guessing that that is also to accommodate more flow through the unit. Now, there's also this uh, on the back of each of these, you've got a, uh, an anemone guard or a fish guard. So that reduces the chances of anything being drawn into the back and becoming stuck. So these really are awesome little wave makers and even the largest of the three is a very small, discreet, beautiful wave maker. So let's just quickly talk about the flow of each of the units. Now with the Nero 3, we have a flow rate of 2000 gallons per hour. So that is roughly 8,000 liters per hour. We have 3,000 gallons per hour with the five. Uh, that equates to around about 12,000 liters per hour. And with the seven, we've actually got 4,000 gallons per hour. So 16,000 liters. This really will make the Nero seven a, an excellent wave maker for quite large uh, uh, reef aquariums. Now we'll also talk about the thickness of the glass. And with the, the Nero 3, as per the box, it uh, takes 10 mil, up to 10 mil glass. The Nero 5 takes up to 12.3. And the Nero 7 is uh, able to go on up to 12.9. So up to 12.9 mil glass, the Nero 7 will work on. So let's have a look at the interface that you use with the Nero's uh, 3, 5, and 7. One of the great things about the Nero range is that you can actually use them on both the Ecotech Mobius app as well as the AI app. And both options are really easy and it's a particularly good interface for the Neros. Now, today we're going to be using the AI app and we've created our tank. We're going to go uh, to flow and edit and you can effectively create different types of uh, water flow. So we've got constant, random, pulse, feed, which is no flow. And you basically just drag the type of flow across. Um, you choose your time. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. You choose your uh, speed. So minimum speed will make that a little bit higher, about 50%. Max speed will make it 100. There we go, and the degree of variance. So effectively, you can have your wave maker programmed in uh, a number of seconds, but it also means that you can very easily manipulate the type of flow in your tank. So it is an excellent interface and definitely something that uh, I would suggest makes the Nero range 
a really good option for your reef aquarium. So there you have it, the all new Nero 7. And it's certainly going to be an amazing addition to the already excellent range of the Neros. So that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to our next video where we will be reef testing the Nero 7. I'm Kevin the Fish Guy, happy reefing.